Okay, so this is Rainbow Dash 7X here, and it's a bit late right now, so I apologize if I'm quiet. So I have a bedroom alarm system set up right now, and it's a full setup system. Here's, it's as you can tell, it's with my radionics panel. This is a radionics D6412 panel. It's an 8-zone panel. So the panel right here. There's the panel board. And it does have batteries installed. Now this panel is linked to my access control system up here, which I took battery out of it because I was demonstrating another panel in a different video not too long ago. But I just got a new panel today. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And I just thought I'd capture the system in its current status before I transfer over to the other panel. I really like this radionics system, but I just I just want to use a different panel at some point because uh, programming this is a little bit hard, and I want to use it somewhere else other than my room. So I'm going to take this panel down and change it to the other one. I'm going to show you all the sensors first. So first of all, access control panel. It's wired to my bedroom door here. So really, the panel is wired through an auxiliary relay of the access control panel. So not directly to the door, but if the door is open to doing, like through access control, it also sets off the alarm panel. Now up here, I have a motion detector. It's a PIR, it's a sharpshooter PIR. There's a smoke detector, that's a system sensor, T112I3. With an internal sounder, I have disabled that internal sounder because it is extremely loud. And there's the system siren, which is also extremely loud, but I put some plastic in there to prevent my ears from being blown. So that is this bedroom door and the sensor for it. I have to come over here. There's my closet, which is also alarmed. So, uh, chime mode is on right now, so as soon as I open this door, you're going to hear a chime. That was the chime. And here is that Scantronic panel I was showing, which I was using the battery for. And in here, there's another PIR. This is a Honeywell Dualtech PIR. And above it is this little sensor. So, when I close the door pushes it. And I'm using that because I don't have any door contacts. But it works just fine. So now I'm gonna open it, chime's gonna go off again. So that is the sensors in here. And down here is the new panel. It is a Honeywell Vista 20P. But really it's a Safe Launch Pro 3000. But it's pretty much a it's Kind of, it's kind of an ADT version of the Vista 20P, but it's pretty much a Vista 20P except for a few minor changes. And those are two 6150 keypads. I do intend to get a 6160CR keypad at some point. But I just have these for now. And I can program the panel right off of those. It's a pain in the interactive menu because I have to plug my computer into the panel and look at the serial output to decode the text. But it works just fine for now. So that's the sensors in here. There's one more sensor I want to show you. And Deco Fanblade's done this before. There's a cabinet. So I have all my server equipment up here. Here's some servers that I have set up. Network switch and stuff. But in this cabinet is my DVR for the camera up there. So let me open this. The chime's going to go off again. It's got another one of those sensors. And there's my DVR, and some old rack switches, and equipment that I'm just not using. External hard drive, and my old computer that is acting as a server so I can pull files off of it. So that is alarmed as well. Okay, now we have, uh, that's, that's five of the system point. We still have three more because it's an eight point panel. One of those is used for access control up here. So there's a forced door relay in this access control panel, so if you don't use the key switch and enter properly, 
it sets off the panel immediately, no matter if it's armed or disarmed. So I will demonstrate that in a second. And then the other one is a smoke detector, and then there's this thermostat down here. This thermostat says 85 degrees, so if it gets above 85 degrees in here, it's going to put trouble on the panel. So I'm going to, it's 77 right now, so I'm going to set it below 77. So I'll show you. That should work. So as soon as that goes off, puts a trouble on this panel. And we can view it by pressing star. That point is called blower monitor. That's because it would usually be monitoring this centrifugal blower down here. But it's just the thermostat, so let's fix this. And there we go, back to normal status. Hey, the status LED is solid now. So let's not arm it to all right now. I'm not going to set it to all on because then it's going to go off immediately when I move. So you have it set up right now in the programming. This door is an entry exit point. That sensor is an interior follower. This door and the motion sensor are interiors. And that is an interior. And then I have part uh, on, part on is our arms perimeter, so just this door. And then part two on arms, this door, plus all those, just excluding this motion sensor. So it's kind of like a night stay mode. And this does have a schedule set on it, so it will automatically arm a night. Anyway, enough explaining about this setup. Let's arm it. So let's do, yeah, let's do a part two on arm. There we go. So now we wait. There's the exit tone. Set to a minute, so 48 more seconds we have to wait. Hmm, I'd show you something while this was arming, but it's protected in the closet for it, so it would go off if I go in there. I guess I'll just show you some more stuff in the panel. So there's the actual panel board. Sorry for the terrible lighting. It's all wiring on a big 9 amp hour battery. That's inside this panel. And the access control panel. There's the actual controller. And network card and stuff. Okay, panel's just about armed. Yep, we are armed. So now I'm going to set it off by, see I'm moving around right now, so that's not going to set it off, but let's set it off by opening the closet port. There's going to be an instant alarm. Actually, no. no. I probably shouldn't set the alarm off, because it's late. Okay, I'll just use the door, and we'll disarm it before the entry delay expires, because I don't want to set the alarm off, because it's a bit loud. Open the door. Uh, we are disarmed so I'm not going to set it off because I realize that siren's a bit loud and it's kind of late so I don't want to disturb anyone that's arming and disarming I guess I'll show you fire trouble so I pull the detector we get trouble press command 4 to view command 4 Point trouble, press A to view. Enter my master code. And smoke detector, fire trouble. That is the trouble. So now let's put this detector head back up. I have something I realized about this detector. Watch the LED. It's still flashing and it's not in the base. It does that for like quite a while after you take it out. Okay. Go back in and back to normal status. So that is that's my alarm panel set up right now. This video is almost 10 minutes long. So yeah, just thought I'd show you that.